hello my lovelies so this is part three of uh ideas for our um memo board our day book memo pad and um if you've seen the other couple of videos i've been um trying to just decorate it in the style of how tracy originally uh did the can't think of the word the digitals <laughs> uh, like she clipped things together and bits of postcards and stuff so um now i do i know i've got a little postcard of traces somewhere because yes they're here i've already backed those and sewn those i think so that's uh that's oh no though i like them oh i like them i don't even know what kit they're from now uh, they might be from the uh freebies from the foxy rag i can't honestly remember but i like them i'll have to have a look on my computer get print some more of them off i love them we could put a postcard on as well why not okay so what i wanted to do here is that Tracy's got uh, portraits. I think these are from a Victorian family. Um, and I know we've got a dog on there, but I wanted to put... Now, we've got these two here on there. So, let's use this one here. Let's use that one. See if we've got a little collection of them. So I like to have a few of these cut out ready because you never know when you might need them. There we go. This one. I hoard this one and I don't know why because I could print it again. But it just reminds me of my dad. <laughs> you never know, it might be some long lost ancestor. It just reminds me of my dad. And uh, he never wore little glasses like that, but it just does. So I hoard that one. Right, okay, so we've got those. Leave that there because we need another one in a bit. So how am I going to um, do this one? So we have got um, like a little stack here. And we've got the postcard of those two. And then... We can put that postcard up there. And I have got a little itty bitty clip there. They're very, so small, they're difficult to clip. So we've got a little clip. Oh, I love it, love it. And how we're we going to put that on there so that it, because I want to be able to use that for writing on as well. So I think. Let's have a belly band. What can we use? Let's get back in here. This is some of Tracy's labels that I've just enlarged. Oh, yes, that would be good, wouldn't it? Right. Let's make a belly band. a shame to cover that date up isn't it? but never mind okay i just cut a bit of that off so we haven't got so much and i'll use you know glitter glue so really belly bands you can you can make them out of anything um i'm going to make some more decorative ones soon i haven't made any for ages with the sewing things on I think we'll do that make sure it's the right way up there we go just turning it over at both sides it just gives it that little bit of depth just hold that down a minute till it holds I really love that so you can write on the back of there can't you and then that just fits in there like that. 
that's great now it's going to slip through so what i'm going to do back to this i'm going to get I'm going to do that and make a little pocket and it can just, is that too wide? Let me get one a bit narrower. Yeah, I'm not going to turn it up on that because I don't want it to. Okay. So again, these are some of Tracy's labels that I have um, just blown up on the computer to get different sizes. Now, if you haven't bought any of Tracy's labels, I know I sound like a an advert. <laughs> You've not lived. You can't do junk journaling without Tracy labels. They're a staple. <laughs> Right, so that will go down there and then it won't, it won't fall out at the bottom of my thing. Oh, I love that. Love that. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Now then, I've got another one here. I'll put a bookmark in here. So here, a similar sort of setup. And what I thought was I've got some papers so i've got this um tales after supper it's one of my old children's books look at the lovely coloration on this and this is a, a christmas present from my beloved and tomorrow and uncle dennis who i lost both of them one last one in december one in march um and so this is nice to have a little memento of them in me in the uh, in the day book. I've got some uh, old vintage ledger, a bit of printing on that. So we've got, in fact, let's have it so that's holding it in place. Um, what else did I pick out? And I picked out. Um, Again, this is from one of the compendiums. I've put a little bit of um, book page on there that I've coloured in. And then one of the smaller uh, elements from one of the compendiums I've stuck on there. And I just put a little tab at the top, which I can have hanging out the top of there, which I think would be quite nice. Now, do I want to, I'm trying to think whether I, how I fasten this in. And because it's got a little, um, like a drawing pin really there, I think, I'll put that down there, I'm going to do something similar. So let me get my crocodile out and... There we go. Now, let's have a look what we've got here. I've been mainly using silver, so we'll use a silver one. Isn't it great? It's great. I've got my two craft carts full of stuff at side of me. Instead of crafting in the hall, bringing it in and out and forgotten what I'd got. I can't believe that we fitted all this lot into the flat. Really, I think we did well. I think we did well, David, do you? We did. Oh dear, what have I done there? Oh, I was going to pin it to that, wasn't I? No, never mind. Put a treasury tag through it. Actually, that might turn out to be easier. Put 
cut a bit of this uh, ball and chain off we don't need all that Sorry, come on hands. This is usually why I have to ask David to help me because I really can't feel little bitty bitties. Please will you just fasten that because my hands won't work. It's a good job I've got this. Good job I've got my helping hand. Probably not better than me. I, oh, look, you see, straight away, whereas I'm, I can't. Oh, oh feeling it, end of my fingers is gone. I'm getting worse. Oh, I like better. Yours aren't much better. Mm. <laughs> oh, I like that. Look. Yes. So that is that on there. And I think I also, I also want to put a little clip little clippy thingy on ah sorry i keep going ah every time i hurt me i've really the arthritis is really flaring up oh look they're them little clippy thingies that they had in olden days again tim alts off amazon not so easy to get all these itty bitties in this country really um Oh, I love that. Not clipped it on mind, but I love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that it? Yes. Right. So that's very similar. Let's have a look what else I want to do. Right here. Hmm. Trying to think if I'm just going to leave that plain or I put might leave that plain for now. Let's see if we've got a nice tracy plain one. That off and do that. I don't know where I packed me uh, my hand splint things. I ain't got much left to unpack, have we? Really? Um. Right, I like that. Now, have I got a flower? I think so. Whether I want the, let's have a look at that one. That one's better. I think that one would be nice. Now, I love these. These are just, I get a you can get a pack full of about a hundred off Amazon and they're really nice to use in your projects, but they aren't off fiddly to get the backs, <laughs> the backs off. Right. There we go, I like that. See, just that little bit of embellishment makes a difference, doesn't it? I feel like that's a bit plain. Uh. 
There we go, that'll do it. I'll put that, is that bird right way around? I think so. Now what I've done here is I've put a belly band on and then I've clipped. So again, these are from the, uh, you know, the birthday florals and I've backed them both. So we've got extra writing space in there. Put a little Tim Holtz clippy on the top. That's that done. That's that we've just done. I think I'm going to leave that. Right. What can we put on the bottom? Have a look, see if I've uh, got something in there. Yeah, that'll do. That's nice. What I'm going to do, thinking of doing soon is I'm going to, I've got a tin with all bits and bobs from old Tracy's kits, little leftover pieces. And uh, I think I'll do a couple of videos. What can we make with these bits and bobs? So let me know if that's something that you would like me to do. I think that would be a, a challenge. Challenge myself to do all sorts with the, with the itty bitties. Okay, so that one we did last time, the envelopes we did last time. Another one of those threw on a belly band. Now, this one, um, I have got another tag, mind you, you don't want it. What we've got on the other side. No, don't like that. Leave that for now. There we've got that. That'll go nice there, won't it? Right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small hole in there and the small hole in the top there and I'm just going to get a ball pin um, this I've got I could get at all my stuff oh jobs are good and as they say as they say in Yorkshire now we're not in Yorkshire anymore guys <laughs> we're in Nottinghamshire now we're over the border. We've defected back to Nottinghamshire. There we are. Just hook that through there. So these are just easy little uh, little things to make. So a little safety pin. Threaded some lovely little uh, seed beads on there. Uh, on some of that um, you know the paint chips and um, a little hole at the top and you've got a, a ready-made and it gives us you know a bit of secret journaling in there so you can unclip it right inside there if you want some secret notes there I will put Oh, I like that. It's got a church on that bit. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this on because it's very fragile, this. Things to do and make for children, this was. Something like 1971. But again, it, that was one of my favourite books that I used to do. Um, things as a little girl and uh, I think we can just 
and I'm going to clip that because I've got some coloured paper clips in my clipper. Right, is that all of them that I wanted to do that with? Let's see how we're doing. Looks plain when you turn it over, so let's enchanting. That's more in keeping, I think. That's more in keeping with this style on the other page. So let's put that there. Um, I'm just looking on here, see if there's anything else with that type of font on it. Yeah, put that on there. Oops. So it's it's been really drab weather lately here in the UK. It's been definitely April showers, all grey and drizzly. Then it stops, then it showers again. That's better. That's better. I like that better now. I'm going to move this down to that position because then that clip will hold that better won't it that's it that's better okay some writing space there Envelope. Now the other thing I want to use is a bit of, just bear with, I'm just going to get my washi tape which isn't quite to hand but it's not that far away. Yeah. Oh, hoo 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 hoo! I better cut the back in now. Oh, right. I, th I knew that there was something else I wanted to do. I want to also. I mean, you can. There is some videos out how people make sellotape look aged, look vintage, and stick it on as if it's been there a while. Um, which is great. I'm just going to put a bit of a washi. Let's just go back and see. I'm going to put a bit on the corners of some of this as well. As if you've just, you know, pinned it on. There. Put a bit there. Oh, can't get my finger. Oh, look at that little bit. Not quite quite what I wanted, but I can pickle it up with ends of my fingers. I'll put a bit there because there's a bit missing. It's quite sticky this, I don't need so far not needing to put any extra any extra glue on it.
Right. I have I know, sharp intake of breath. You're not used to me getting the bling out, are you? Hey. But I am going to put these on there. <laughs> See, that's a turnout for the books, isn't it? Hey, not very vintage. I don't think they are blingy things. Well, they did, but they were like real jewels, weren't they? Like that. So. A tape to hold that on. Let's have a look what we could put on here. A couple of Tracy's minis. Yeah, these are. Um, I'll put all the kits down below. But these are uh, miniature, little miniature tags. Can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it in. So we've got all this stuff. I just had them to hand and I think. Click them in there, like that. I'll have a butterfly down there. And I think that's that is a video. I'm quite happy with with that now. I'm going to uh, do a bit of stamping on that, and I think then that will be that will do us. So I'm really pleased with that. I've enjoyed doing that. It's something a bit different for me. Um, now I've found my rings, I'm going to be obsessed with them. But this is going to be on my desk and uh, I can jot notes and put little bits and bobs in there. So uh, let me know if you're, if you're having a go at this, that you're making one for yourself. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next video. All right then, my lovelies. Bye for now.